Hi, it's Mitch from PickDogs.com here with your free pick in the Pirates versus Brewers Major League Baseball matchup on Thursday, April 25th, 2024. If you like all the free picks we do at Pick Dogs, you'll love our premium picks, our best bets. Use the discount code PICK, get 15% off. We also have products meant for people who make big bets, people with big bankrolls, looking for that one-on-one -on -one concierge style service. We offer these products. They're just not available on the website. They're still easy to get. You just got to text the number you see on the screen. So uh, if you make big bets like I do, go ahead and text that number. But let's get to it. Pirates taking on the Brewers. Final game of this series. Boy, some of these series just seem like they just go on and on. This is certainly one of those. But, uh, you know, I think for the Brewers, oh, man, I think they were hoping for something better. But those first couple of games against the Pirates where they just could not even hit the ball, oh, man, those are going to leave a mark. And certainly cast some questions on this Brewers lineup, which had been hitting the ball very, very well coming into, uh, into this series. You know, in this one, Mitch Keller goes for the Pirates top of the rotation in Pittsburgh and Freddie Peralta on the mound for the Brewers. You know, Keller did not look good in spring training. His top end speed was 90, 91 miles an hour. And we've seen so far in the regular season, he looks anything but like an all-star like he was last season. Now, the thing about being an all-star and, you know, we're not going to put Keller down. He certainly believed that he has talent, good stuff. And even though he doesn't have any velocity, you know, he certainly has some other things. But Every team gets an all-star, right? Every team gets at least one player. Keller was the Pirates' representative last season. That's pretty much how that all works out. If he was on, you know, the Yankees or something, he wouldn't have been on the. He wouldn't have been all-star. But anyways, you look at, uh, you know, you look at him this season, and you know he's been hit pretty hard in spots. Comes in with a 4.80 ERA, 33 hits allowed, over 30 full. 16, uh, 18 runs, 16 of those earned, 25 strikeouts and three home runs. So the, so the walks, strikeouts, home runs, all those things are okay, but certainly not elite all-star pitcher status. And Keller gets all-star treatment, even though he's not really an all-star, you know, and it's just, that's the way it is. Pitchers are picked, you know, uh, while players are uh, voted in, right? And that's the difference. And of course, the backup players are voted in, are uh, picked in. But a lot of that has to do with, you know, the having to have a guy from every single team and then the manager filling in the rest. You know, we look at Freddie Peralta who takes over the top of the Brewers rotation. He has been outstanding. 14 hits in 23 and two thirds innings, just five earned, four walks, keeping it way down there. 33 strikeouts in 23 and two thirds, man. He is bringing it, and Peralta certainly has earned that ace of the staff um, billing, which he gets, you know, with Corbin Burns departed and Woodruff on the injured list. Look at the Pirates' batting order. They're certainly hitting it decently, 269 versus right-handed pitching, while the while the Brewers just 179 against the lefties, but against the righties like Keller is, 292. Um, the bullpens, it's not even close. The Brewers, 2.50 ERA for their bullpen. The, the Pirates at uh, 4.13 in their home games, 4.26 overall. I got to say, the Brewers, kind of disappointing the first couple games of this series. But aside from that, look for them to end it with a statement. I'm going to take the Brewers, and that's going to be my free pick. Of course, while you're doing your picks, putting your bets in, use our free betting tools at sportschatplace.com. 100% free, and they'll help put you on the most favorable bets on the board today.